Hello and welcome to another video tutorial by ComputerGuardGuard.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create conditional hyperlinks in Excel. So in this spreadsheet I have open at the moment I would like to create a hyperlink to uh, a PO for the records in this spreadsheet but I only want the hyperlink to be displayed if somebody has selected that the PO has been received in column D. So I have a drop down list in column D, a data validation list. As soon as they choose yes, I want the PO hyperlink to be displayed. Now in this example, we're going to assume that the POs are being saved into the same directory each time and that they will be saved under this book in reference. So we'll easily be able to create the dynamic reference by using spreadsheet data. We know what name it's going to be saved under. By having this uniform uh, way of saving, we know that Hyperlink can create itself. So let's get stuck into this. Cell E2, we're going to use an if function to create the conditional aspect of the Hyperlink. And then we're going to use the Hyperlink function to create the hyperlink for us. So we'll start off with the if function equals if opening bracket and say that the logical test is to check if cell D2 is equal to the word yes. If D2 equals yes, comma. So value if true. Now this is when we want it to display the hyperlink. If the PO received column has the word yes in it then we need the hyperlink to be displayed so value if true will be hyperlink the hyperlink function opening bracket and that will ask us two questions the link location and then the friendly name so the link location is where is the hyperlink gonna link to where is its destination and the friendly name which is optional is the name to be, or sorry, the text to be displayed in this cell. So the kind of anchor text, if you will. Uh, if you do not put a friendly name because it is optional, it will use the path, the link location for that name. So our link location. I'm going to use the concatenate function here to concatenate some string and the contents of C2 together. So I'm going to use this concatenate function. And I'm going to catenate uh, a link to the G drive and a, a pretend folder called purchase orders. These purchase orders don't really exist, so I'm not going to be able to follow this link through. But I'm putting the path here, imagining that they're on this shared drive called G in a folder called purchase orders. Closing the uh, double inverted commas there, comma, and I'm going to use the contents of C2 comma and concatenate on the end dot pdf so I'm imagining that the name of the file will always be the book in reference and it will be a pdf and that will be in a folder called purchase orders on the g drive so by stringing all them together concatenating them together I have the full link location now I'm going to put a close in bracket to finish the concatenate function and use a comma to move across onto the friendly name and I'm going to use a friendly name of uh, view PO. Close the speech marks, close off the hyperlink function, back to if. Well, I can put a comma because the hyperlink is displayed as the value of true statement there. And the value of false, I'm going to make the cell blank, make it empty by using an empty string, two, two speech marks. Two double inverted commas with nothing in the middle. Closing bracket on the end. And enter. And we have a link to view the PO. So hover over it shows the location there. G purchase orders black just 43978 PDF. But if I select that cell and copy it down, it only displays for the two that I have received. And if somebody was to change the drop Dennis to say yes the link is automatically generated and if I hover over it I see that the link location 
is 43985 as it's picking up the data from the booking reference. So the hyperlink is conditional, it is dependent on the value from a drop down list, only displaying when necessary. And we also have the link location to be dynamic, it's able to create itself using spreadsheet data. So that is creating conditional hyperlinks in Excel. I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you do, please subscribe to this channel to keep up to date with our latest videos and check out what else we've got at computergaga.com.